Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. Uh, if you're new here, please take a moment to like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Okay? All right, let's get started. Today, I want to talk about my one, two, three children. Uh, in case you're new here, I'll tell you a little background. I have three children, uh, two boys and one girl. My oldest son is Elijah, and he is about to turn 30. Then I have a daughter that just turned 24, and uh, the baby, my son, is about to turn 22. So, I have no babies. Uh, so, I wanted to talk today about uh, relationships with adult children. Um, as they grow and get older, uh, they leave the home, they go to college, they get married, they have children, and they go to a whole new phase where their life and the new things that they have in their life are moving at full speed, the same way it was when you were early in your 20s or something like that. It's a wonderful thing to see as a mother to see your kids grow and thrive and um, become all that they you knew that they were going to be um, or all that they can be. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So this is a, a really strange time in my life. I'm learning all about myself and my body and my health, and I'm trying to live better, mind, body, and spirit on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm also trying to work on my relationships with my children. So I came up uh, with an idea that I would write a letter to each one of my children now while I'm still breathing, okay? <laughs> Not to leave for when I'm gone and they read it, but so they can uh, fully understand uh, how I feel about each one of them. And I just wanted to talk to you about that. I'm not sure uh, where I got the idea from. I've always liked to write. I've always liked to express myself. I'm not really good with crowds, but I felt like if uh, you can get through to somebody, through your words, and that you can touch them, that you can make a difference. It's just like this YouTube channel. I never thought I could do it. Um, um, I was nervous. I uh, had never done anything like this, but I did it because I needed to, to help myself um, with all the stuff that I was going through. And I, I then it evolved to me trying to help somebody else. So again, uh, I'm glad that I have this YouTube channel. So it's also helping me to see things that I uh, didn't see clearly uh, before. And that is that um, no relationship is perfect. I feel like I got a good relationship with all three of my children, but uh, it can always be better. So back to the letters. So for my oldest son, he uh, started out wild. Whoa. Oh my goodness. He's my wild child. He is my explorer. Okay. He's always into something and he never stays still. And, um, I hear from him whenever, when he's around, when he's not around, it could be a month and that's just how he roll. And, um, and I have to learn to deal with that because he's not a baby anymore. He is 30. Um, in a relationship, you know, and he actually said that maybe one day he would have children. So there is a possibility that uh, me, one day, I could be a grandmother. I'm not holding my breath because uh, I've heard that before. Okay, but he is 30. He is a rolling stone, and he is a dreamer, and uh, he works really hard, and I'm trying to show him how to uh, save money and to be more frugal. And uh, so my letter to him was basically uh, him growing up, talking about all the things that um, he was into and always busy and how I had high hopes of all the things that he could accomplish. And then the letter stopped by, you know, talking to just about all his dreams and aspirations and to never give them up because he's thinking about going back to school now. So I just felt like 
the letter had to be um, about what's going on right now and what his struggle is now. And it's the decision to go back to school. You know, you want to work, you have to work. Excuse me, you have to. You have to uh, pay the rent, electric, cable, whatever. And so that's the letter to him. The letter to my daughter is about our relationship, which has, uh, she is, um, uh, I feel like I have to make an appointment now to see her. And it used to, I used to see her all the time. And um, when she first got into her first major relationship, uh, I, I was I was a little upset. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, what about me? And I realized that I was jealous of her relationship uh, that she had had with her uh, boyfriend at the time. This years ago, um, but I grew to like him. He was a wonderful man. Uh, he took really good care of her, and he respected her, and um, that was all that was important to me. But eventually I told her, I was like, sure. I was jealous because I'm, we talk every day. We was, uh, had that, but I had to let go. I had to release the fact that, uh, she didn't need me like she used to anymore. When she started at, by the time she started, cause she got a scholarship to FAMU. And by the time she got to U of F in Gainesville, she was pretty much, um, uh, like this and all the outside stuff had to wait because she was focused on getting another degree so that's her she's a hard worker she's a charger and she's motivated and when she sets her mind to something she does it so my letter to her was simply uh, to keep going in the direction you're going I'm proud of you and um, I always knew that she'd be something special because she got up and started walking at nine months and didn't look back and that's how she's been ever since. <laughs> and finally, my baby, Patrick, who is, uh, he is my star. He is a trumpet player. In third grade, he wanted to play the drums, but I told him to let his mind go other places and try other things. And he tried to trumpet and he's been playing it ever since. He's excelled in everything he's ever done. Um, he is simply amazing, and he has lots and lots of talents. And when he went off to college, he went to FSU. He went up there and was doing the same thing. He was a trailblazer and doing all the things that he needed to do to be successful in school. And then he started having trouble with his classes. He's never been a really good student, and uh, it was hard for him to let me know that he was struggling. So um, now at the age of almost 22, my letter to him is, you're still young, you're still searching for that next of what you wanna do. His heart, his soul is into the trumpet. So I have to cultivate that. I have to do whatever I can to help him be successful and to be a successful trumpet player full time. You know, his other job is, is it's just that. It's just a, a job to pay the bills. But his heart, his soul, his love is playing the trumpet. So those are my three letters for my three children and the focus of each letter to the children. The purpose is to show them that they are wonderful, they are magnificent, they are unique, and that they can accomplish and do anything that they can. So my message to you today is don't wait until it's too late. Let your children know how much you love them. Let them know that you believe in them. Okay? So let's breathe in and breathe out and get this day started. You ready? We're going to have a wonderful day today. It's going to be a wonderful day, peaceful, and you're going to be kind to everybody that you come in contact. But most of all, treat people with respect because that's all that really matters. Okay? Have a great day. Have a pleasant day. Have a peaceful day. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. 
I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.